a very beautiful Friday afternoon from wherever you are. This is Jalango TV and this is Bonga Nadalas. Sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. <laughs> hey! Sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. Yeah. sanitize. Talking about the best sanitizer in town, Velvex. No, did you come on Menyona kwa billboard? The long one advertise. Hey, Zana. Hey, Zana. Kazi lazime pigwe. O se seme sanitizer. Hey, seme Velvex. Seme langata. Bwana director. So what you quit a director comes up? Mukuru Genzi. Eh. What you want to be in Ilguana be a best young juicy? Eh. Ilguana joke like in it. Eh. What you want to soma or cool or Genzi? Eh. The way we Mukuru Genzi. Because you live here too, because Baba we are campaigning. Spia we are going to campaign here, Baba. Eh. Hmm. To Salimia. So you see, Kuru are going to Salimia. Ivi. Sita kusao. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. But then on a serious note, yeah. Mudosi ya lidi salimi ya, after a win, yeah. muki kata. Yeah. Unajua mlianza kukata. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unajua sayi nilikuwa nimechoma, nilikuwa mza ni itu peke yangu comedian. Yeah. Mwenye ya mekubwa na minafuata jubili. Oh, Uliku yeah. mefuata jubili kila pahali. Nilikuwa nime audition, nilikuwa nime campaign. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Iga kuwa ni? Thank you. Na ikakua, ikakua. Na pewa kazi hivyo kwa ni kazi ni ya mamako. But, so do you think you deserved that position? Of course, nilienda shule ndiyo siku moja ni andikuwa kwa serikali. You know, so, of course, kwa ni nilikuja Nairobi kutafuta nini si kazi. So ukapata kazi, ukawatana na comedy kabisa? Comedy siku wachana na ayo, nilitumia comedy kufanya yu kazi bwana jalama. Aje sasa, and since you left, umengia huko kwa board, Umekua tu mutu blale fucking jawaisi kia. Umekua mutu boring. Watu wana kupigia simu wa ushiki, umebadilika. Nimebadilika haji sasa. Unakumbuku kikuja kwa nguna security. Nika kwambia uti wae jaribu yo ujiga tena hapa. Hapa ni kwenye home. Leo nda kuzomea. Na sasa unakukienda maali kuna watu wa bangi silazima wenda kwa mwajipanga. Ebu ni chike i jacket kwanza wenda. Wee leo utajua. Ntoku zangu wanao litizama nyumbani. I am under attack. I have not changed. I deserved this job. Poverty was killing me. Uh -huh. We needed something at home. Uh -huh. And then I was remembered. Uh -huh. But on a serious job, not George Alango. Hakuna uh -huh. kubwa. Unabadilika nini? Uh -huh. Hii job ya nakada ni part time. Job yangu ni comedy bro. Uh -huh. Mimi ni comedy wao lifanya comedy mwisho lini. Kwa ni chipukizi cho ilikuwa inafaka. Chipukizi cho singe ifanya. Sini liifanya vina. Na si uliwatana paka na chipukizi cho. Una appointi uliwatana. Sinyinyo watu wenda simulianza kunivuruga mkanza kuniingiligia uko kwa chipukizi cho. Wapi. Wapi. Paka shoi katoka. Wapi. Simulianza kusema watu wa geto wa watolewa chipukizi cho. Na nimeanza kuleta ujinga. Na watu wa ibru wakanza kunilete ujinga uko. Wananiambia wewe unaleta watu wa kayole hapa kwa nini na wewe tunataka ulete kina jalango na maempi. Sini ikafunga show. Sasa hiyo, sasa ninifanya nini? Na ilikuwa ni kiburi na kutaka zile ma, ma, makiki tu zingine aziku. Kiburi gani? Kiki? Una design aje kwa social media wewe? Sasa nda design wapisi. Yapo so ukeenda, umbona huko enda Ibru kawambia. Maze mimi kama si watu wakayole na dadora sifanyi show. Kwa sababu? Alafu sasa unandika kitu re. Sini li wambia. Jalas, kwa ni wamekuita? Unawatetea hapa. Wacha ni kwambia jalasi. Ulifukuzwa job. Hakuna kufukuzwa job. Nilifukuzwa. Tuliwafunza lesson. Juwa likuwa na... Wacha unajua. Nimeka kwa hizo board. Una get? Na nasema hivi with a lot of respect na humility. Ya? Hizo... Wewe unajua ufala muna fanya huku kwa industry. Gani ya? Muna finya vijana mtaki kutusikia. Una get? Mimi nimengangana jalasi. Nimekuwa naka YouTube channel. Nimepata chipukizi TV. Wamenigei show. Mini kijana. Ya? Nimeenda hapo kwa hiyo show, awataki kunipea chance ni kuwe mkreative nifanya hiyo show vila nafaa kuifanya. Unaona, wanataka hao sasa wana kunifanya vila inafaa. So, hizo, 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 hiyo umama muna kuanga na ya kushinda kutufinya zisi mavijana wenye atuna sauti. Unaenda kwa social media, una expose. Siku expose. Hawa dosi wa social media mafans, hawa tundi wa watu wenye umetueka hapo. Sisi na hiyo TV. So, nawambia oe, amina finyo wa huku wa se. Unaona? Na ukweli ni, siyata uliona katalo juzi, aki kuongelecha kwanza wewe. Alisema? 
Alikuambia wewe ni mtu bloody fucking. Aje sasa sasa Katelo nimefanyia Katelo ni. Katelo uliyokuwa na press conference ya Katelo? Akisema nini? Hiyo press conference ilikuwa address to you. Hadi <laughs> tumefanya nini? Umeua Gengeton. Aya aya aya. Katelo alikuwa anasema wewe Gengeton kuna tufinya mazee oya oya mazee nini? But basically jealous. Hiyo show hii bro. Niliacha show nilikuwa nataka kuidu bro. Juni nilikuwa nimedu show ni pema vijana kama vile leo tu unafanya wewe. Nilikuwa napea watu wenye wana voice voice. So sikuwa naendea masta, na sikuwa naendea ma MP, na sikuwa naendea who is who. I was going for who is not who. Wochi, mama wamboga, msani ya jaisikika, msani ya naimba vile anataka. Unaona? Na wazea wakuwa wana appreciate yo, yo story kwa boardroom yao. And to me, show inaitua chipukizi show. Chipukizi show ni msani ya upcoming. So chipukizi show inafaa kupea hawa watu. Chance kama hiyo. So nipile nilio na wataki kuwa accept. Ukajitoa. Nikajitoa bro. Mungu anasaidia bro. Wa. Machipu, ebu ni kulize. Unajua wewe umeka kwa hii industry sana. Miaka, miaka tisa sana. Nine years. Yes. Ukiwa kwa industry. Yes. Ukitoka wapi uko ndi uingi kwa industry. Eh. Mi nilizaliwa mahali kuna ito tala. Tala. Tala Kangundo. Mm-hmm. Iko Machakos County. Na nikikuja kuingia kwa industry nilikuwa nimetoka huko. Nilikuwa ndo nimemaliza high school. Nilikuwa kijana tu. Nimemaliza Tala High School, nime nangoja o, resorts. O, umesoma Tala High School? Mhm. Mhm. Uh-huh. Nimeenda nilisoma primary inaitwa Potombe Primary School. Eh? Uh-huh. Nikamaliza kwa Potombe Primary School. Eh uh-huh. eh. Nika acha Ali nika... primary school yenyewe inaitwa? <laughs> Nikaenda form 1. Okay. <laughs> Ulienda form 1 ukitoka wapi? <laughs> Nikaenda form 1 to chile inaitwa kwa tombe kwa tombe sanitize sanitize Bora director Tafungie director hujawahi taka kubadilisha jina ya shule Uko na chance ya kubadilisha jina ya shule Tombe is a good name ni jina yake kama tombe ehe kumaanisha kumaanisha ni jina yake Isingia huko tafadhali Ezekiel Mutua is watching big up wasango Tatu mimi waziedi hapa sasa hivi. But eh, nilitoka nilitoka Tala, mm. nilimaliza high school na nikaka kama Nairobi. So basically mimi nilikuwa na kama Nairobi ku hustle tu, ku try to get eh, kitu tu yenye sijai kupata tu hata tao yangu, niende home kama nimebeba ka radio station, ka radio. So nikaka kama Nairobi, nikakuja nikawapata Kenya National Theater huko ndo mali tulikuwa tunaenda kwa sababu ndo watu wenye wana papers. Watu wenye wana ma- makaratasi na masomo mingi mingi nilikuwa naona wakiaccepttiwa hapo. So I used to hang out there at National Theater. Na kuona huko ukitembea na kiburi mingi sana. Mimi sana na kuna kagari uliko na drive hivi. Eh, hey, si ilikuwa ni yangu. Hayo ulikuwa na tu. Gari yangu sasa wewe ndio utaniambia venye naiendesha. Hayo ulikuwa una unatusumbua. Eh, hey, kabisa. Na uzuri ulikuwa na tubeba. Kabisa. Ulinibeba siku moja ukanipeleka Mudhaiga. Eh. Hey. Nikasikia vizuri nikasema siku moja na nikakupikia. Ili ukali na kanipea elfu tatu. Haa, mpana director, uwe ni sahu, he? Eh? Uta sahu, waji. <laughs> so, basically, nilikuwa ndo nimetoka tala, nimekuja jiji, sijui mtu, sina mtu. Na ishitu na anko yangu, na anko yangu, wanajua na ngoja resorts za KCP, zitoke. Ndo nipele kwa kole. Juni likuwa nimekuja kusoma journalism. Kuna faa kuwa mtu wa kutangana za news. Utangaze nini, he? Buda mimi unless wewe utangaze huko kwa cheza wa kamba huko. Hapana ndugu zangu. Hapana kwa eh, eh, boza. Eh, Ati eh. ndugu zangu waliyekuja mbele yenu ni mtangazaji bwana Vincent Mwasi ambaye tu anikuletea habari za leo. Rais Raila Odinga uh, kitu kama hiyo. <coughs> Unajua nasema vitu zenyewe unasa kusikia hapa. Rais Raila Amolo Odinga leo aliweza kuzuru mtaa ya Kibera pale aliweza Rais Raila Odinga leo aliweza kuzuru <laughs> Rais Raila Odinga leo aliweza kuzuru maeneo ya Langata alipopatana na muheshimiwa Gushi anayesukuma mambo ya uwalilishaji wa bangi bwana Jalas akiongea na sanitizer lango <laughs> You see nilikuwa nataka kukuwa journalist wewe mimi nilikuwa nimekuja kukuwa mtu wa kusoma news 
Juu nilikuwa najua sana sana vitu za masomo. Kuna kwani kuna mtu alikuwa amekuwa inspire inspire huko ukiwa Tala nini ulikuwa unataka? Nilikuwa Tala nilikuwa sana nilikuwa mtu wa kuact church. Ma acting. Ma acting zile za zile play za kwa na Christmas. Mhm. Yesu akidai. Mm. So wewe like, ukiacha kama kondoo. Ongea tu vile unataka kuongea. <coughs> kondoo wewe lakini idea ni nilikuwa na usanii mob sana. Ehe. Na pia after high school nilikuwa pia na kusikiza. Ndio nimaliza form 4 hivi nilikuwa na kusikiza ukiwa na karo. Kiss. Kiss. Ndio kwa hapo mnaongea na jambia. Nasikia wewe ni mshamba na una, 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 uko na watu wa Nairobi. So inania na 15. Unasema mimi na ushamba yangu Neza. na ona kama nitaenda huko. Huu mtu vitu anasema ndio naishi. Ehe. Jiko anasema vile ananga food, vile ananga steamer, mm. vile anateseka tu na maisha. Na huu mtu mwingine mzungu wako hapo ndani yeah. anamuchekelea. Eh. Na ya 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 ya. Unasema hii ndio mambo yangu. Hii ndio mambo yangu. Siku eh. moja nikapiga. Ehe. Sikia hello. Nikakata. <laughs> Ah. So basically nilikuwa nimetoka kwa hiyo environment. Mtu wa mshamba tu. Sasa uko tu KT hapo. Kuna kuna hope tu akia nani mtu wa kuongeleshe tu yani akuoffer aku opportunity hata kama ni kwenda kwake kumfungulia anga gate. Mhm. Juugiza ikiingia. Mm-hmm. Kuna noma ya, ya uta, utakula nini utaenda uta wapi? Utapandaje mat? Mm-hmm. Utatembea mpaka Huruma. Sira kina Churchill tuliona piga story paka asubuhi. Sasa si vile tuliingia National Theater tukaanza kuambiwa ngo stories zenu. But unaje sasa hiyo tunaona mna drive. Na mna dhani ni mchezo. Sina kina chachi tulukuna piga story, siya ti story ni tamu. Hakuna pali ya kuenda. Muongetu mba kazibui. <laughs> eh, lakini sasa watu wanajipanya story imebamba. Eh. <coughs> Unazitukia jua ndiyo hile. Tazaza tuki wapo si tuliko tunaona. Tuliko tunapiga mi likuwa na believe man. Juni likuwa nakuona na gari man. Napi umse ni mambuwa vila meteseka. Uko na ofisi. Uko na ofisi, uko na ofisi buda. Unaongea kizungu bro. Uko naongea kizungu unatembea vila unatembea anga hivi. Hmm? <laughs> so, nikaona national, nikaona hope. Naona papa Shidandula, naona wasani na zema manzi. Indio kitu nataka. Hii kitu naeza hivaye. Your first day kwa set ilikuwa ni gani? My first day kwa set ilikuwa... Of course, unajua tulifanya hizo auditions mob za ma TV, but first day kabisa kwa set ilikuwa hapo kanipu. Mm-hmm. Big Ted alikingianga akauliza kama kuna mtu hapa anaeza kuwa na chance ya kuchekesha wase na nilikuwa na mchongo wano mbili so nikainua mkono nikaingia nikachekesha wase so wase wenye audition wase vila waliona nimechekesha kidogo next week waka nigei chance nika kuja kukuambia yo, yo time nilipewa chance I'll never forget nilipewa wa, wali accept jokes zangu kama hii week nika perform then the next week waku nigei chance then nika anza kusikia jalangu anakuanga na mashuo za corporates unanipata? Mm-hmm. Kuna jima na ituwa jala angu wana kuwanga na, na mashuwa za kopre Lakini na hiku muongelesha ni mjaka Matakangi ujinga Una get? <laughs> so, nika kuja hapo Kenya National Theater If you remember Nika kuja na kabag na kanotbook kama hapa Nika kuta uka ingia kia ka Unaujio na mwenyama wana ingia Uka ingia uka enda wako kagari kako Na nika Toyota tuka upuzi tu menunua tuka Kagari tu lakini unatuzumbua Chuchu. Mm. Kakwambia jalango na ituwa vini. Na mina kuanga msani. Ulini angalia tu hivo. Na ne, neza omba ukiwa na machance. Una nige. Uka nembea. Uh-huh. Msani wa wapi wewe. Mbea mi, mi ni komedia. Ume perform wapi. Kakwambia ni lime perform church. Ume wipe wa so. Yeah, ni me perform once. Ya husema jokes zaku. Na kukupigia joku moja hapo ya masai. Ati vile masai alikuwa ana preach alafu alafu ali masai alienda akiambia wase kuje ni church and then akaenda kwa this village eh pastor alienda kwa masai akawaambia waache ngombe waende church ah time ya preaching nakumbuka masai um, pastor kaanza kuhubiri pastor kaanza kuhubiri akasema nasikia bwana yuko na isi hapa mungu yuko na sisi ndani ya kanisa masai akamuliza ah! <laughs> Kama yuko hapa basi, nani ya mebaki na ngobe? <laughs> Nakumbuka ye joke, <laughs> nilikupigia uka niambia ni ya mtandao, mm. lakini ni mini performa. Uka niingiza kwa yu gari yako, uka nipeleka huko kwa hako, mm. uka umebae viti kama hizi, mm-hmm. za green, mm. na uka nige show. Tuka na nawe mbaka, uka unaenda kufanya event ya, I think, something, uko langata. 
we arrive nikaona watu wana receive kama star watu wameka at wana ni receive bado wana ni receive hivyo pole eh pole hakuna past tense hapa sisi tuko pole endelea pole kwa nikapata watu wamekaa chini na mameza corporate watu wanaongea kizungu wale watu wanafaa kuniandika ukaingia ukapiga show au kuniita ukakuja kuniambia shika 1300 bwana uta perform next time So that was the first experience. So unaona nime perform lakini wewe umekuja ukanipa 1300 na kule nimenyimwa chance. But huko huko ndio sasa unaonekana kwa TV. So najiambia nikienda kuperform huko sana hizi 1300 ndaendelea kupata. Juu wewe vile nilikwambia nimepanda stage. Kuli nige chance. Na hivyo ikaendelea hivyo. Unajua kwa nini hiyo siku siku upatia chance ya kuperform? Unakumbuka? Eh. Hey. Nilikuwa nataka uone ilikuwa nimekuleta class Buda na niliona. Jalango nilikuwa nataka kukua kama wewe sana. Eh, hey, na bado utakuwa tu. <laughs> bado unataka kukua kama mimi. Haisi uko na umama sana. Ah, wacha hizo. Ah, mamento imefika mahali sasa imeanza kukua watu. Wacha hizo. Wacha hizo. Mtu unaona mtu huyu unaona huyu mentor. Bado mimi mentor wako. Kwa kama kwa sababu wewe ni director hapa na kada. Uko hapa na kada. Uko hapa na kada sasa nimetoka sasa mimi sina. Mimi ndo mshishi na kina kama Negoro. Kitambo ulikuwa mtu mzuri. Siku hizi hai. Kizungu mingi yo what's up what's up show this is your this is your word na wewe ni mtu wa kizungu. Sasa tukataka. This is your word. Ni back ni back to hivyo hivyo. Ndio. Mtu bro. Una bro. Wewe venye ulikuja huko kauna ka kondoo na hata hata bado hata una ka hivyo. Mimi ni kondoo tu ni vile navaa tu nguo safi. But wewe nani hautakuja kwa show yangu kunisomea by the way. Pole. Unajua tuko kwa interview. Pole sana. Kwa tumefika wapi? But on a serious note guys. Jalango on a serious note. Ni vizuri niseme wasee wajue. Mimi kama young comedian ndio nilikuja kwa jiji bro ni wewe na chachi ni ndo mlikuwa ehe eh. na mlikuwa already mna wako mlikuwa already bro wewe ni radio presenter wa Kiss FM mna wako kwa the best radio breakfast show in Kenya uko kwa TV papa Chirandula ya yeah? so mimi kama 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 vini nataka nataka hiyo na nyinyi amkuwa mnatubembeleza jalas tuambiane ukweli ulikuwa una mlikuwa mnatuonesha the hardest way ni vuru and kama una talent ka nje wewe kwenda wewe we, we, hivyo tu vile unaniongelesha hapa ndo mko mnatuongelesha and through that eh, kupitia hiyo moto tulipitia tuko tuko mahali unaweza ni interview una get siku moja nje kuomba job manze sasa una ni interview ni poa maboy wajue mtaani si ukiona jalango amengara haimaanishi ya kuwa amefanya nini taka kukua kama yeye eh, but follow process unajua mpe yani learn to from a distance lakini usitake saa hii. Usi na una watu wananiuliza hapo online, Katelo alienda wapi? Katelo alienda wapi? Katelo alienda wapi? Katelo not Katelo has got so much time, so much time ku perfect art yake. Si kutaka nishinde na fuatana na wewe huku kila mahali, kila mahali tunaenda. Ako na jani yake. Uwezi kuwa umeanza leo na kesho unataka uko na una interview ase. It's a process. Kwa hivyo ndo point yangu, siku yangu. Na hiyo kutaka haraka imemaliza vijana hata utakufa <coughs> you will die i'm telling you kwa sababu kila msee ana jani yake kila msee ana kitu zake za nyana nini watu wanawakia wewe unawakia nini wewe kwa nini unaimba kwa nini unachekesha unajua unataka shuta dedi you may be jalango has a way that he can facilitate whatever lifestyle or how he moves with his art can you so unaona mtu unataka sahi nataka nataka ni Nataka hodi wanilipe. Saa hii kesho ni kwa ambassador wani kwa billboard manze. Nataka kwenda tour, it's a process. Utakufa, utaingia kwa drugs. Kujirehabilitate ni, ni expect kuliko kujisomesha. Eh? Na hakuna mtu anakuambia hivyo. Utashinda unasema serikali yenisaidi. Hawa sani wameomoka watu saidi. Hawa watu wetu wenye wako na pesa. Makazi nzangu washiki simu zangu. Society. Oye. Na simply maybe yewe unge follow tu path yako na unge kuwa mpesha ungeenda far ungeenda na mimi nime learn mimi nimekuwa mkeless jalas wacha niongee by the way mimi mimi kama chipukizi nilikuja hii town nikiwa myang was a young boy you know and <coughs> nikaingia kwa fame na usanii naangalia na una jalangoni madem tu <coughs> na mercedes 
Na gari kubwa kubwa bwa. Na tiangalia naona kijanga. Ndio hii. Ndio hii kitu. Unajua unanigea ni mtu mwanzo tunaenda tunaingia kwa club. Buda madem mtu mwanzo wanakuja tu mahali huko. Pombe zinaletwa kama zimewashwa moto ndugu yangu. Kiangazi kai leo roho mwenye Yesu. Na nimetoka tala jana. Na ninaambiwa siku yangu itakaa mimi ndio ni mimi ndio niko hapo. Of course when that time came I was careless dili fanya silly mistakes dili kwa all over the place I was not cautious I almost lost it to be honest to be honest I almost I almost lost it na sasa hiyo you have it all you've been given your work at the biggest radio station Kiss FM you're on TV every week you are doing family bag and adverts you're all over the place uko na chance ya kwenda state kesho ukitaka kwenda state you have it but sasa ujinga na na hiyo hiyo kutaka kuwa mwangu nafikiria sasa Nairobi ni ya mamako Kolo Kevin na tunadanganya watu huko vile unataka wasichana huku scandal oh pombe mnafanya ujinga jalango unajua ujinga tumefanya yenye ume, umefanya tumefanya usinikize ya tu sema tu ujinga nilifanya karibu ilimalize na ni ukweli ehe <laughs> Ujinga yenye nimefanya ilikuwa ni ilikuwa ni malize until ile time nili realize oh my goodness I am in total control of my life and it doesn't matter how successful or how famous I'll get at the end of the day I am responsible for what I become you know na ndio nikaacha kukuwa mtu bloody fucking na hapo ndio match yake kafunguka na sasa naona ni kama ninaendelea vizuri ndugu yangu sanitize baba ah 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 Leo umeamua kufungua roho. Kufungua roho. Ukaingia kiss, kichwa kikakuwa kubwa kabisa. Kiti niliwacha, wewe ukachukua. Ridi ambao ulikuwa unasikia ukiwa tala. Mm. Sasa wewe ndio presenter. Ndio. Kwa hiyo jalango alifutwa nikapewa kazi. It was a good thing. Juu hiyo time na yeye alikuwa na BF kama mimi. Alikuwa tumu tu bloody fucking. Ana discipline, anafikiria huko ni kwao. Kama hiyo. Sijawahi kukuzwa kazi bro. Eh hata mimi sijaifu kuzwa kazi. Eh sasa usidanganye watu. Sijaifu kuzwa kazi. Eh, sasa nilitoka nikienda Radio Maisha. So ulitoka ukaenda Radio Maisha. Kwanza ilikuwa ni ingie jambo. Ndio. Lakini kasema wacha nikie. Nilikuwa na contract mbili tayari. Okay. Bro. Okay. Hata juzi nikitoka milele nilikuwa na contract saba. Pole bro. Eh. I'm sorry. I, 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 I take back my comments guys. Mm. Kwani lazima unitukane ndio ujulikane. Pole. Ni pembe yakakaa ndani. Asante. Sana, boss. Asante. Asante sana. Sasa ukaingia kiss. FM. I remember uh, nikiwa shags manze ni shy wish kutaka kuwak hiyo kiss FM. Ju nilikuwa na relate na Caroline Motoko. Ni ni Motoko. Nilikuwa nasikia ni mkamba wetu manze mzungu. You know get? Sasa nasikia huyo Motoko manze anaongea. Sijai sikia kwetu mtu anaongea hivyo. <laughs> My goodness this is Caroline Mutako na sema kianga one day nikakuumsha akatoa huo mjaluo hapo aeke mukamba hiyo sio inashika so one time chatil chatil akatoka ku host big brother in uh, south africa alafu akani text akaniambia Caroline Mutoko is looking for you immediately nikaenda kisa fm hapo reception nikapata demo anaitwa Janet nikamwambia anaitwa Chukizi mimi ni msanii na nimeambiwa na chatil Caroline anaendaruta Ode makanembia Caroline atafuta ngo hivyo chipukizi. Mzo what do you mean? Ndia lazima uko na appointment. I mean no but ni kidogo kidogo nikamsikia nyuma yangu. What is it? Nikamwambia niliambiwa nikuje huko na chacha. Nikamwambia get in. Tukakachine can you can you do this job? Are you funny? Nikamwambia have you ever worked on a radio station before? Nikamwambia hapana. Have you but but I'm a journalist student Caroline. I'm doing journalism now and so I can try it. I'm out for a week. I give you a week you try when I'm back we will know if you will hire you, right? Good. Linda, on air with this one. Good. Boom boom. Na hivyo tu bro ndo niliandiko. Ukapiga kazi. Nikapiga kazi eh for 3 years kufanya kazi na Caroline Mutoko ilikuwa nikalearn much. Nika realize kumbe there is more to usani than just kwenda kusimama mbele ya watu kuwachekesha. Just just being funny. You have to prepare, you have to wake up early, you have to have discipline. You have to be a, a responsible person. You have to lazima ukuwe msafi. Lazima ukuwe na pea mbili za viatu. You have to you have to do your job like you never do it again because that chance can go tomorrow. 
Na nikai do for three years. Caroline akatoka, nikapewa drive. But then at some point nikaanza ku feel. Ju unajua pia wewe uko nje si ati mmeacha. Wewe unasumbua uko nje bro. Mara uko radio milele umetoka uko una Jeff Koinange unaenda. So kumbuka ni mimi nakufuata. Wewe unaenda three years na una ikis. Ai karua umetoka it's not the same anymore na feel manze. I need more. I need more. So I need to stop working on it. So then I quit. Uli quit ama uli fokuzwa? Nili quit. Nilienda nikambia PQ. Niliandika email. Ukasema? I, I want to thank you for the opportunity. I've learned, I've grown, but I feel like it's my time now to move out and try other things. Kasena nikatafta Moses Kuri yaka nipeleka America. Tuganda Las Vegas. Mhm. Uh-huh. tu nandiyo nikaanza kuzurura huko na ilikomondi. <laughs> So yeah, thank you so much first of all kuacha hiyo kazi. Juli ni zaidi ya sana. Hata vile niliwacha maisha. Hata vile uliwacha maisha. Sasa ndio ukakuja uka ati unataka kufanya huko. Si usikie ni kulifukuzwa hata kazi kabla uanze. Kwa nini unashinda kusema nilifukuzwa huko na? Hiyo ulifukuzwa na naweza temu liambiwa usiondekaje hata hapa. Hapana jana hapana. Kumbafu ukiacha mama madharau bwana. Wewe ulienda bila. Wewe mimi nimekuwa kajalala. kazi umeambiwa kuja kazi. Billboard zimewekwa kila pahali. Gazeti. Gazeti imetangaza chipukizi anaingia radio maisha. Hmm. Uliingia? Sikuingia. Ulienda hewani? Sikuenda hewani. Ehe. Story ni yangu ama ni yako? We basi yako ebu. Story ni yangu. I was fired before even began working. <laughs> I was fired even before I began working. Naenda America unatimia mdosi nili selfie selfie la audio. Adio tu kwa America sijui weather ni weather guard wewe kuja hapo labia watu juu ya weather weather guard na ndikwa kazi unaje sister tuache niongee bwana nipe heshima bwana mimi ni mkurugenzi wa serikali bwana ah! wacha kuleta madharau hapa bwana sasa tutaiki kijana wa tanda auongelee simo la moa hapa wewe nani sikia mimi hmm? nimewahi kukulipa salary wao hujawahi nilipa <coughs> sasa tulia hapo bila ukurugenzi wako dadi hiyo utapeleka huko na kada hapa hapa ni kwangu baba hapa ni kwangu umesikia ah Ehe. nilianza kufanya magig nikaanza ku organize my own shows funny truth mm-hmm. nikaenda america nilikaenda basically for one year one year then one day mwakideo came to my house he knocked alex mwakideo akaniambia jamani ndugu yangu sisi tumetizama tukaangalia yule bwana jalango ameondoka kule sasa pale mimi naona wewe na nimekusikiza wewe unaweza una uwezo sana ule jalango vile tumeona mtu anaweza kama replace huku jameni wewe unaweza tumejaribu yani anakudanganya tu ni ukweli alikuwa anasema facts unafaa ujichunge sana hata hiyo langata unaitisha miaka tano na kuje na kutoa umeelewa mm. so uh, <coughs> anajua ni ukweli we labda usimame tala <laughs> hata kweli unaweza kutoa mwakideo vile alikuja kwa nyumba jalango sikufutwa mm. mm-hmm. I told Mwakideo that reason moja nilitoka radio ni manze niko na feel mimi kama msanii na hii ni kitu nasema juu unajua wasanii wengi jalango wewe unaweza kuogothu watu wasanii wengi wenye wameandikwa sasa hivi wana go through hiki kitu unaandikwa unapewa contract poa unapewa ngiri sema so tano mita whatever but then you don't have a freedom to express to be who you are to be an artist wacha nimalize okay wacha nimalize Mwakidoni nilimwambia mimi sina shida kurudi kwa kazi. Akanudisha kwa kwa wakubwa tukaongea na wakubwa nikamwambia wakubwa mimi ni mchekeshaji kwanza. Kwa hivyo kama mnanihitaji niingie kwenye redio itabidi mnipe muda na munialao hiyo redio nifanye nikifanya comedy yangu. Kumaanisha sasa hivi nataka kuenda nataka nataka kuwa artist global nataka kujaribu kuwa artist wa Afrika. Nataka at least nijulikane ni nje. 
So nikikuwa na show iko Vegas, iko America, iko Tanzania nataka kutoka Nairobi niende Eldoret nataka kwenda Mombasa. Mwanzo msinifinye. Hiyo tu jalas. Mimi kama chipukizi I can even do your show na phone. Una get? Naweza kutumia jokes, we can tell this story differently. However, give me a chance to be chipukizi and I'm going to give you a show. And they accepted. Shida ikakuwa walifikiriana bluff. Unajua hizi kipindi zetu wanafikiri huyu show gani huyu ako nazo huyu shows gani siku yenye wali sign contract na mimi bro ndio show siku ya Vegas ili confirmio kumbuka the first time nilienda Vegas na Moses Kuria nilikuwa nimeenda tu stare sasa hii narudi Vegas kufanya show nimeitwa na Kelly eh Nyashinski kwanza na na Harmonize wanafanya show hiyo show walifanya hard rock buda tunaenda hard rock bro Vegas jealous Mwakido ananiambia tunaenda onea Tuesday. Wametoa billboard, wametoa gazeti, but nawaambia wadosi. Mi ni kijana naelewa. Lakini tukiko sign hii contract niliwaambia ni kuanga na hizi show. Na nikawaambia give me a chance to be me. Na bro hakunisikia. Nilirudi Kenya wamefura wanataka kuni. Sasa hapo ndo walinifukuza. Wewe wewe kwenda wewe. Enda ukae huko Vegas. Na hivyo ndo nilianzisha chipukizi show. The same day waliniambia niende nikae Vegas. Chipukizi show nikaanzisha juu hivi Bruno alikuwa ameni approach nilikuwa nime try jalango acha nifungue roho unajua huku ama media zetu hawa vile bro watupeangi chance manze bro na concept bro hiyo ndio hiyo ndio uzuri ya shule so hiyo time uki sign contract lazima u sign useme hivi ndio mmekubali na msipofanya venye ni tumekubaliana tutaendaje unajua so hiyo time unafukuzwa inapo kuna contract yako pia yenye wali sign wakisema wata kufukuza ukienda chuo zako za Jelango tu acha unajua hawa watu ni mwanzo zako hawa wadosi wewe unajua na wangu tuna machi ya manu hizi media zote wacha nikuambie ni marafiki zako Jelango wanatufinya wasanii jelas marafiki zako wanatuumiza marafiki zako wanatuumiza. Yaani uko hapa kabisa unasema machama ni ni marafiki zangu. Na ni ukweli na wanatuumaliza. Lakini unajua ni mimi nampiga job paka mtu mdosi anataka kuwa best yako. Enda umwambie wanatufinya bro. Eh basi tawacho. Na naenda kuambia walifenya chipukizi. Na wambie naomba kazi. Sijui ni wewe utatoka ama kutaendaje. Wewe unaomba kazi? Yes. Siwendi utafuti tu ndio imefunguliwa aanze kuongea. Hawezi fukuzwa. Hata nini si u director yako inaisha hii nini uhuru akitoka wapi unatolewa unajua hiyo hizi maboda appointments unajua zinaishaga na nini na regime au unadhani sasa nakada ni kwa mama yako unadhani nakada ni ya mama yako kwa hivyo inaenda eh hey, so uhuru 13 months jipange hapa kama hujajipanga nini in the next 13 months hawezi uniandike huko akitoka akirais akitoka wapi ya panga vitu zako lakini ni kurudi huko kwa street sasa uanze kuangalia kama kondo imepotea jalango acha kuniambia sikuwa bibi baya bidi nakwambia ukweli board appointments na hizi machama na nini are political gifts you understand vile wewe ulipigia rais uhuru debe unajua akakwambia sitakusahau hakukusahau ehe ruta ingie hakujui ama mtu mwingine aletwe hapo na card akujui sasa acha nikuambie Raila ingia akujui acha nikuambie eh kibaki alitoka mhm akatiwaacha kama ananijua mhm hakuna mtu atawahi kuwa rais hii Kenya mm. mwenye hata wahi kunijua ehe eh. sasa unaweza toka na card au peleke kwingine acha nijibu hiyo swali by the way acha nijibu hiyo swali by the way jalango mimi nakutadhirisha tu si atini labda umejipanga na mimi nataka ni kueducate these are political gifts but let me educate you These are political But gifts. Let me educate you. Au kusomea kazi ya nakada na nini? Can I educate you? Uligia nakada na backdoor. Na <laughs> uligia nakada na backdoor na nini? So <laughs> rais akitoka mm. au watu labda hata wakupendi huko. <coughs> Asema hii nyangao ililetwa watu hapa kwa sababu ya nini? Labda wakupendi. Sasa ndio wataenda kuweka petition wewe nje utembekwa makoti makoti mimi mimi mimi, mm. mimi kitu moja na believe jalango acha ni kueducate juu unataka kukuwa mbunge hata unashindwa hawa watu utakuwa unaenda kukuwa mbunge utakuwa na leader wa ina gani <laughs> education is man made talent is god given 
So everything Absolutely. government, everything government, everything institution, everything work, I don't, I don't value it like that. As long as ni kona gift yangu ni na kwanza na ni saa tu bro. Eh, the uki compare na kada na chipukizi, na kada iko two percent. Chipukizi ni kubwa. Ako ninety percent. Kijana ube kuambutu mwerevu. Nashukuru. Na kuskia sana. Nashukuru. Yendo kwa sababu hizi makazi mi na oraga tu. <laughs> na hizi fanya yangu na tukutu sabo. Unani pata? Na kupata. Na hizi kujata hapa mm. tu fanya tu show na na. Lakini na, na, kisu ni kwamba usifuri se kichwa pale sana. Pale na kada usifuri se kichwa. Sa hizi wewe ni deputy? Mimi ni vice chairperson. Vice chairperson na kada. Ndiyo. Nunajua kwa nini walikuweka? Ako. Wale watu wanapigana na pombe na bangi na miadarati na miadarati na pale unaona kila mtu na suti nini hmm. nani anakana anajua watu wa bangi na amevuta hizo vitu wewe hmm. wakasema <laughs> tukacha thief <laughs> send a thief ndio sasa unajua wewe unatumiwa na ujui lakini walikuchukua lakini unajua ile kusema ukweli lakini unajua ile kusema ukweli nao watu wa bangi yeah. walikuwa wanahitaji usaidizi Mm-hmm. Wewe kama mtu mmoja wa bangi unajua watu wa bangi na madawa hey. mlikuwa kwa shida. Unaelewa? Hey. Mlikuwa mfikiwi serikali mnawekewa mchele kwa ba. Hey. Malaya huko wanashinda kuwaua. Unaona bangi mnawekewa mbaya kokemu mmevutishwa huku vitu mbaya mbaya fake fake. Wewe ulikuwa unajua bangi mzuri. Wewe ndio ulikuwa unajua bangi mzuri. Wewe ulitumwa kuambia watu hii ni mbaya, vuta hii, si ndio? Kuambia watu hii ni mbaya, wacha hii, usivute ile. Unanielewa? Uh-huh. Na ni kazi ambayo nimekuwa nikiona inafanya kazi. How's that been by the way? It's an amazing thing. It's a good thing to be given a chance to serve, you know. Mm-hmm. And kitu moja like I've told you, eh ni kutumia tu, mimi utumia usanii. Board director bro, si hizo vitu watu wanaona ng'a mtu ufaa kufanya. You just a board director. There is so much you can do. You just a board member bro. Uka chini na wazee mna deliberate once in a while. Una get? You don't run the authority. The management runs the authority. You just sit when necessary. Yeah? So, mimi nikasema then, kwa sawa mi, nime, nime jipata kwa boardroom, na ma professor, ma doctor, ma directors, watu wana represent different ministries. Mimi nikasema mimi na represent the Ministry of Laughter. You get, I'm a comedian, I qualified here. Hivyo vile una piga mudomo wapa kama mtu wa jasoma. Comedy ndo lini qualify kwenda, 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 kwenda nakada. Because, miss kumit na president uhuru ati ni mkampenye, I was hired to perform to the guy more than seven times, you know. So nili ito kuperform ya king seven times. Bro, nda muomba job. Oya, oh, yeah, nipe ile job jago wali kwa wanadu. Mi ni mtu wa geto, ni kuja kuhasol. So comedy ni powerful jalango. Niki wa kiss, nili tumwa state house, tuka interview president. Na since that day, my life has never been the same again. I don't look... Si onangi ni kama sasa hiyo 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 kwenda kuona president of the biggest moment. Na unaanga vile comedy link tech mali yuko. You know? Na since hiyo day nilimo interview. Since that time relationship yangu ye ndo president bro. Ku ndio orezo. Nimemo interview ananijua, anani like. Mu meet na yeye. Mu ngotea. Eh uni get 2 minutes. So through that that's how that's how I got into government because Nili perform ya watu wa government, every time kama ume perform ya president more than seven times, these people who decide for him, they are there, they sit with him. So of course for them to decide that we can give this young man a chance. Bro si kupikiwa, ama kupewa, ama, ama, ama post. I've earned it with my job, bro. Ndu watu wakifikria na joke, nime kama hapo rotejo buda, nika, nika chekesha na nikaenda by the way, you know. So it's been an amazing thing to go back now, kwenda watamu, kwenda lamu, kwenda garisa, kwenda tala, kwenda kuonyesha wale watu wananitambua kama msanii. Ni aje nimegeiwa hii responsibility na gava. But it's not that it. Sikia ni wase. Ile ukweli unaweza kuwa kuna noma, tunaweza fanyaje? Basi hii nimekaa na ofisi, una get? Sijaenda sasa si, si, ni, ni kitu poa sana. Hujakaa mtu kama Jalas. Hujakaa mtu kama kanguvu fulani. Mtu kama kanguvu fulani, upigi tu kipindi. Unaanga bila naona ngaza wengine watu unapiga kipindi ya yeye ndio jua una authority. Sasa hizi inaweza kana kijana mmoja naweza chukua katelo nikiwashua. No get? Naweza chukua boy mmoja nikiwashua huyu, naweza chukua kama ule boy nilipelekaria ule msanii wetu. Eh eh ghetto youth ile ngoja. Naweza chukua msanii mmoja ama mtoto mmoja ama mama mmoja ama kijiji mmoja nikiwashua I can do something. I actually have a place where I can go and make a difference. Yeah. Mimi kama chipukizi sahii nikikosa job ama nisote 
nenda nga kuna ku safari kom na safari kom ni fungulia na waambia niaje safari kom niko na kashio nafanya hapa manzi na omba mnisaidia na mita wananisikia kwa sababu gani kwa sababu ya usanii wangu nimefungua hizo mlango sasa hizi naweza fungua mlango niende kwa waziri niwaambie waziri manzi sikia manzi ni kubaya saidia hapa vijana hivi ndio mnasema kuna hiyo lakini so now it's, it's an amazing thing na naipenda sana na hata nika hata nikakosa kukuwa director hata kesho Minda usani ndende leo. Unataka tu ni kwa jeisho waje kuipiga. Ndio bwana. Eh. Na tuendelee tu tuambie watu wa bangi. Watu wa bangi vile wanataka kuambiwa. Mm. Na ilibidi uache bangi, uache pombe, uache shisha ndio sasa uwaongeleshe ukiwa soga. Kweli? Pombe nayo nilikuwa nakunywa sana, ulikuwa umetufunza sana. Mimi nimekuwa soba for two years. Mimi mimi mi, mi nilikufundisha pombe. Elango ulikuwa mlevi sana na ulikuwa unatupea pombe. Mimi hakuna show tulikuwa tunaenda unakosa kupewa pombe mzima. Acha nikuonyeshe simu zako za ukitupea show. Hey. Alo baba. Hey, yawa. Mulolongo yawa. Eh? Sasa Mombasa, Mombasa tunatesa. Mezinga iko watoto, baba watoto na utalala. Eh nimekutumia 2000 hapo. Kuja mtaani. Ombe na wanawake ama nachoma. Huu ni dadi huyu. No but ni kweli ulikuwa unatupea pombe na wanawake jalango. <laughs> Mimi hata vile nilianza kukuwa na kwa mablogs na na hizo vitu na nikasema Huu hata amechange. Mimi mnampata saa yenye ana change. Ili kwa huwa likuwa mafia. <laughs> so kwa mbati nzuri Mungu amenisaidia nikajitoanisha na hizo vitu mbaya ulitufundisha. Mimi mambo ya wanawake sipo na pombe nimewacha miaka mbili. Ah wanawake wakali uliwachwa. Wewe uliwachwa uliwachwa na wanawake unaenda kutafuta wasichana wenye hata huwezi dunulia kitu yote. Unajitoa bro. Bro si unajitoa. Wasichana wamelelewa vizuri. Wewe unataka niende nikatafute mtu tumeteseka kama yeye. Aniletee trauma kwa nyumba. Nieri niteseke siku mbili na mtu 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 anajua ai hakuna jelango acha ni pia ulijichocha sana jelango acha ni kwambie jelango uli ulijichocha sana pia ulijichocha sana ai ulijichocha sana mimi ni bwana ya kibaja huko wapi wapi alikuacha huko na kuparara yako huko amerudi kwao huko kwa mababu sichana naongea kizungu au ski communication zero na ni tati yo kama msi my girlfriend tchana ndo ya kizungu mimi mwenyewe siski na kwambia bro hapa hapa imetushi na tutoke jalango hiyo ndio na unaharibu hii kitu unaharibu nini acha kuongelea watu wako hapa ah okay sasa nimewacha basi wacha niongelele yule mkisi tchana mrembo sifa yako mbaya yeye ni mrefu wewe ni mfupi sanitize sanitize Mbona ulienda kununua degree? Sanitize. Mbona? Kijana hauja atujakuona class, haujafanya chochote. Nani aliwaambia lazima mnione class? No, 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 no. Nini maselebu wa Kenya nyinyi bado wanaanza sasa? Leo, leo lazima utuambie kwa nini ulienda Mount Kenya kununua degree? Jalango, tafadhali, kama utapia. Nini mas- ah, maselebu wa Kenya hawa wanaharibu. Wanaharibu society. Mnamekika lazima maselebrity kitu yote unafanya lazima uko scrutinized. Ukiingia kwa choo uko hapo. Kuna mtu anavaa kuniona nikiwa shule. But mimi sijasoma. Nani amesema nimesoma jalango? Mhm. Mimi sasa jana umepost TBT hapo na ile nini? Gauni yako hata hukupiga pasi. Hiyo ni gauni ya Terence Kwanza. Hiyo ni gauni. Na nini umefungisha kwa nikasema so, hii wewe. <laughs> iki pindi yako hii utawacha hii na ndio maana jalango nakwambia lazima nyinyi maselep muanze kukuwa accountable mm. juu muna mislead citizen mm. picha kama hiyo ukiweka haimaanishi umesoma mimi sijasema hapo i've graduated with a bachelor's nimeweka picha wewe si so- kama unaniangalia wewe 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 Awezi ada kuvaa hiyo nguo siku ya graduation na maua kwa shingo ati wewe kama recommend anavaa kama mama kwa nini mimi nisivae si ni change nyinyi mnaharibu ni natengeneza mkiharibu naunda 
But now, si jasoma ba se si jana kampu ah ni le shindwe tu ya school fees ah for real ni si jana. Wait wait, u shindwe na school fees. Gizo si kuwa. Wana watu walikula pesa yako yote. Au na pesa ya class. Gizo si kuzenye. Sasa ndo nataka kuingia class. Aha. Huko days nataka kusoma law. Law. Eh, mi na time ya language. Law. Eh. I want to be a lawyer. D plus, D plus usome law gani? Unaanza na certificate. Sasa una bridge ma courses. Kama waititu wali survive mimi nda survive. Guys, this show is heavily sponsored by Bankbet. Waje tupige biashara sasa. Hizo <laughs> bwana unaharibu bwana utafanya bankbet waende euro ibambe na bankbet <laughs> eh eh sign up to bankbet.com and enjoy amazing prizes with the euro 2020 bankbet offers you four free bets worth 120 just for signing up yani ukiingia pale ndani immediately you sign in unapata bet zako za 120 they have the biggest odds on all matches Eh eh leo kuna Sweden versus Slovakia. Pesa unaweka wapi? Hmm. Slovakia. Croatia versus Czech Republic, Croatia. England versus Scotland. Weka pesa Scotland. Sign up to Bankbet now. Pay bill number 99880. And if you don't have a smartphone, kama uko na muleka muisi, dial star 852 hash or SMS. Game to 20829. <laughs> Baba uko na talent bwana. For real jealous. Jealous when I'm talented bwana. Udi ziko wapi? Hizo udi ziko wapi? Leo kuna maudi. Siongee ange tu hivyo na sisi bro. Aje. Hivyo vile unaongea hapo. Hapo sasa hiyo ni kazi bwana. Fungua moja. Nitaka moja uvae. Oh, you want. Ya yellow kwanza. Ya yellow. Sasa tunataka kufuatiana ma. Hizi sasa ni za bank bet. Eh? Weka hashtag hapo Euro Ibambe na Bankbet. Upate yako moja safi. Jana kuliko watu wawili walishinda, si ndio? Leo pia watu wengine wawili wanashinda moja Facebook, moja me, moja uh, YouTube. Sasa hapo hivyo Euro Ibambe na Bankbet. Mkamba akiona kitu ya yelo. E Sasa hii interview hata itaisha. Yo mulumutizi alisema eh? tunangalangala kama mamama. Eh? Alikuwa mistake. Eh. Sasa hii umechukua kabisa. Tafadhali watu wa bank bet ningependa kuambia pia mimi ni mtu wa vutu ndo. Mhm. Tafadhali mnaweza ni sponsor. Uh-huh. Hizi vitu za nakada mnasisikia sisi wa confuse. Uh-huh. <laughs> so e e e ayo ni yako baba imekutosha smart. Mm. So na, niko na mbili tena na rap patiana hapa. Sinipe ile peleke. Ah ah, upaleke nani wewe? Wana sasa wewe nikupewa kila kitu. Niko na familia. Ah! Niko na watu. Wewe? Mm? Wewe. Tangu uachwe au hujawahi rudi kwa hiyo mambo. Nani alisema kwa by then iliwachwe? Ah okay basi basi nimewachana na hiyo mambo ya kuachwa basi. Nani alisema nimewacha basi hiyo mambo ya kuachwa. Na umesema hakuna vitu zako zote ya uweki nje. Si ndio? Hmm. Sasa huko na girlfriend na mama kwa nyumba na huko na watoto watatu na hujawahi waweka kwa picha, si ndio? Telanga ndio nimefikisha miaka 3 bro. Umeingiza 3? Ndio nimeingia 3 sasa. Mhm. Uh-huh. Ndio nafikiria kuwa serious na mambo ya kuoa nini. Mhm. Hizo kujipanga panga. Mhm. Sasa vitu zote umekuwa ukiongelea. Mm-hmm. Watu saa nyingine unajua watu wanaweza kuchukulia serious. Ni ma experiment tu. Ni maisha tu. Mm-hmm. Unajua mm-hmm. maisha na na we, we don't regret anything. Mm-hmm. We planned, we've mm-hmm. grown, we mm-hmm. we want to be better. Mm-hmm. We are young man, we can go to school and get a genuine degree. I'm not faking to have a degree. Mm-hmm. I, I don't have to do that. I have the time and maybe a few coins that I can take myself to school. Four years ago I couldn't. I could, just so education is luxury from where I come from. When you saw me graduate, what did you think? You to, bro, first of all you told me about your 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 campo journey. I thought you were joking. I thought you were not serious. But when I saw you graduate, I knew for sure I will graduate. Not now, but the right time. 
kwa sababu ile ku take time bro 10 years and then unakuja ku graduate ukiwa na pesa i was inspired and now ana dulo daysta hapo tu mali ulikuwa unasomea lazima ni ngoja ni ku bridge ku bridge ku bridge ku bridge una bridge nini si tulisoma bro au ulipata ulipita po ulipita bro ulipita bro tuli just cause sisi ni comedians i manage sisi not stupid tuli pass it's just that comedy ni to elevate faster kule ikatueka ikatueka places za tukuje itatueka so now i think in time the last ya kutumia hiyo glory sasa vizuri na kuna kutokuwa cha kukuwa mtu mjinga baba kuna hizi marumas ati uko usimame huko kwenye marumas nisimame kwetu hiyo hmm. constituency yenyewe inaitwa kunaitwa matungulu matungulu kwa nani kwa mule eh mule mule ni rafiki yangu sana rafiki yangu pia mm. hata wana mule jamaa mpoa sana mm. fanya naye kazi mingi mm. kazi mingi sana jigas tulifanya naye kupelekea nini kuna hata kiss with football mm. tulianza naye mm. kitambo hiyo mm. mm. aliniambia anga by the kitambo 2008 mm. 2008 2009 yeah. jalangu nyi mkuu wana siasa tutao support me i'm not interested in politics bro mm. I'm, i'm i'm okay with 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 being an artist mm. i don't siasa mister unajua nime nime work na nime work na, na both words za usanii na hiyo side ya politics siasa nini usanii ni tabu wana siasa unajua pia mnawa hype ni watu ni watu pia wawezi sijui kwa nini tunakuanga tumewa hype sana sema hivyo na best yako ni mwana siasa as an artist mm. unaweza fanya hizo vitu za nyawa na siasa una Unaweza na tayari si tunazifanya hapa by the way. Mm. Unaweza said ni unaona unasaidia wase. Mtu wako kwa shida unamsaidia. Unaenda kwa village kuna kuna make a difference. Unajua si already mi already ni MP. Watu already bro alisha to approve. The last to live wana wa Kenya. Kuna comedians less than 20. Jiuliza kwa nini? Kuna wengine pia wanataka kujulikana. Wa Kenya wame select hao. Una get? Wa Kenya wame to select. Wa Kenya washa to give responsibility. Talk to me about your school about my school uh, so I built a school in my village na it's, it's one of the best things that i think that i've ever done to my life na like i've told you education is luxury in my village i, I didn't i didn't I, i didn't become a journalist first hand maybe because i could not access school like that and so i promised myself that i'll go back my mom was a nursery school teacher in kona ndia pocket money kwa kwa chuo ya nursery So mimi kama kijana tu niki grow up nilikuwa na hustle nirudi home kusaidia madheko. Hiyo nasari hata iko na class one. So from day one hizo mangiri tatu mlikuwa mnani gay. I was so passionate about going back to that village. One to help my mom, you know, au moke. Ba sasa vile nilipata dona nikapata akili dogo kidogo nikasema then why don't I give back to this community fully? Come up with a school, set it up, put teachers, weka stima, weka maji na watoto wakuje wapate education proper but like kushinda kwenda huko kwa village na na na, na Mercedes ama ama na Range Rover niingie kwa village na niambie wase tuingie shule wasome juu nimeona yenyewe shule inaweza wasaidia juu mimi nimeona mali education kidogo yenye nili access mali money tech so now we have a full primary school eh na Rose and Martins primary in Dipos na bro tuko na watu 150 it's one of, it's one of it's one of the best things bro na unafauka muko mate ndakam ndakam give me maybe one thing ni kufanyie huko nijenge dom ndaita kama wewe eh hey. jalango dom already najenga theater ya church mhm niko na land kuja hapo nikupe land ujenge dom okay sawa so, mmesikia tutajenga dom huko sasa so to organize ground break sasa si wewe ndo utasema Uko serious? Eh nda kujengia dom. Don Gule, what happened between him and Katelo? Mulikosania, mmekosana na Katelo. Hizo kajalangu ndo vitu nataka ukataze wase. Usanii wase, utuache kukuwa wapeti like that jalas. Usanii si si group work. Unajua, Katelo ni mwanaume ako na wazazi na na familia yake. He's an artist, I'm an artist. We are together, he's my young brother. Hayezi kuwa na shida kama hata wewe ujui. However, guys man you don't have to be seen he will be seen when he has something to be seen that's what we've been teaching each other jalas you don't have to wewe uko unashinda kuniambia ni acha kwenda wewe si uko unanisomea unaniambia ni acha kwenda kwa kwa zile events za za groove awards 
ni kama nimevaa t-shirt. Mbe you don't have to show up if you don't have a nice suit because you remember you telling me that. Hiyo siku nilijam na wewe. You remember you telling me that. Mlikuwa wewe na sleepy na, sleepy, na, na karis. Na karis na wako. Eh, hey, nimezunguka mchana kutwa. <coughs> siju mlikuwa mmeenda siju juja. Mukaenda siju wapi? Mlikuwa tu maraundi tu. Maraundi naona mnafanya events alafu mnapika groove na matisha zimejikunja mnakawachapo. Nilikwambia hiyo kitu. Uliniambia hiyo kitu na hiyo kitu ndio unaisema hapa. Sila msanii Si lazima ukuwe na wasanii wengine juu wako. Take your time. Show up za yenye uko na kitu unaweza sema. Katelo anajipanga. Anapanga radio station yake ya radio, anapanga jokes zake, anataka kufanya stand up special yake. Anajipanga. There is so much I can do. Yeye yeah, mwenyewe kama mwanaume anajijua. Si lazima tushinde pamoja pia kama mademu. Si lazima Katelo ashinde. Ana ana need pia ku hang out na Jalango, hang out na na SWAT. Si lazima ukiona mtu na jalango huo mtu anashinda na jalango. Ndio maana unaona watu wanaikuwa na friend fake friendship. Watu wanaanza ku, ku exposeiana wanatumiana vitu wanatumia huo boy wenu. Mwenye wanatumianga hizo vitu. Ni kwa sababu wase hiyo click. It's called antelope mentality. You want to hang out with people so that you can be defeated together. Katelo ni king na mimi ni king na wewe ni king. Everybody has their own kingdom. They can we akae huko akama. Katelo na need to challenge. Si uniulize Katelo alienda wapi? Katelo tulimaliza na naye kitambo siku nilimpea interview. Kitambo. So niamke, ni muonekesho na na anadu hivyo. Na tufunze hao watu hivyo jalasi. Si si soft, usanii si soft. This is job ya glamour, see. It's hard. It's hard. Utasota, utajiluz, utakuwa solo, utakosa kujua the next moment, utajidiscover. Take your time. Wow, talking about taking your time, definitely. The people who took their time came up with their Kenya Airlift program is One Bob Mwiti and DK Kiogora, who is a sitting uh, member of County Assembly in Meru. Now, the Kenya Airlift program is an amazing, amazing program, Chipu. Uh, these guys, Bob went to America as an IT student, but then he completed his studies akafungua kampani yake Upstack America. Mm-hmm. And through Upstack America wameanza kupatia watu majobu huko. But how are they giving back to the community? They come up they came up with a program called the Kenya Airlift program. Okay. The Kenya Airlift program is a, a definitely it's not a new thing. Ilikuwa ni ile ya kitambo ile yenye ilipelekaga kina Obama America mm. akina Tom Boya and everyone, okay? okay. So, these guys if you're good in IT and you are a student and you got a B, B plane and above you get a chance to go to America you apply into the program wakikuchukua you go there you get scholarships you, they get you into the universities there you pursue your IT and give back to the community and even much better ukimaliza you can always be absorbed than the upstate America check out this uh, video from uh, the Kenya Airlift program Good picture. Have you heard of the Kenya Airlift program? An initiative that supports Kenyan students to undertake IT related master's programs in the US. To qualify, one must have a minimum of a B plane in KCSE plus a second class division in any undergraduate major. Apply. For details, visit www.kenyaairliftprogram.com or give us a call on +1813 573 5619. Kenya Airlift program empowering very good Kenyan very students. very good don't forget that uh, Euro Ibambe na Bangbet and uh, heavily sponsored this show definitely now we are mepata udiake i'll be reading the name of the winners for the woodies on this camera chipukizi i need you to talk to wasani i need you to talk to the youths that you meet each and every single day and i need you to talk to our politicians and the leadership of this nation. Mm. Street up kwa wasanii kwanza. Kwa wasanii mane. We don't matter like that guys. Sisi ni hii job yetu usanii. Ni job kama maloya, makanga. Unajua mawochi. So ukiingia kwa industry ama ukikuwa msanii uanze ku feel special uta lose point. We have a responsibility also as people to just to tell the right stories and to be who we are don't try too hard if you are an upcoming artist to try and want to fitting now 
just like a lawyer you will take time to be promoted unajua usitake kutoa ngoma moja na unataka kuku una feel una need una need you know kuku hapo una need shows and all that take your time usanini gift yeah usitumiwe pia na industry kuanza 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 ku spread propaganda manza hii ni kitu nimekuwa jealous nitaka kuambia wasanii unajua usi 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 manze usi uspeana usanii yako for business manze usi usijiuze jo usi just cause someone is advertising usichukua advertise na pia uki advertise manze pewa do manze una get you that's it you you deserve to be given 10 million to advertise that project Usi usipewe products na upewe pesa kidogo and then sasa u feel that's it. Yeah. Also usi yani anyway wasanii manze na wa wish well but we have a responsibility. Na hii yetu ni gift and we are given for free. We don't sell. We don't sell. When you're young you don't know how much you can charge to be paid. I didn't know how much I could be charged. I mean I could be paid. So wasanii we have a huge re- it's it's bigger than you. Yeah, mavijana wa ghetto, mavijana wa wa wa, wa, wa wadosi, mavijana wote in general wa Kenya. Hii country ni yetu. They say we are the future. We don't have time. We need to start preparing now. We have to start preparing for our tomorrow today. And you prepare it ukiwa na ukiwa unaniona mimi wase, naweza kuona kaanga fala by the way. But nime try wase. Niko kwa gava ndio, but bado mimi ni, ni myang na najua future yetu iko mbele na iko iko strong tukiwa together tusitambue tu tuache kutambua tuache tu, tu decide tu kama unataka kuwa mechanic unataka kuwa mko ukimbie everything that you want to do eka tu bidii manze na ujitume na itawak imeniwakia manze nilitoka shags kama sijui ni one na niko mali niko mpaka nimepewa audi ya bure ya yellow you know Tusi, tusitambue manze question things tuchunge mtaa zetu protect sister protect mama yako protect brother yako he continue yetu tusikubali country yetu ikuwe taken over na 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 wazae wazae ni wana siasa au unasema ukiniambia niwaambie manze so far wame to fail as a country my leaders wetu wame to fail sana you know members of parliament i wish that young people na ni poa watu kama hata kina jalango wanataka kukuwa leaders to impress you kutaka kukuwa leadership so that kesho tukuwe na leaders wanaweza kukuwa na voices zao cuz right now we have so many leaders who don't speak for themselves they speak for their bosses and yet systems mekuwa set zenye hawa sasa walielektiwa waende ku speak for us and you can't blame this guy because ana hustle to mp pia ni, ni, ni mtu wako job kama sisi ana tafuti ya watu wake mboka pia yeye anataka kupeleka watu wake kula na pelekanga Lazima vijana tuamke tuone hizi vitu hivi. Tusizione kama ati as far as them. Tuanze ku study tujue wenyewe we can do better. You know, politicians it's fine. You have your time. Do it. But a time is coming when and I can feel it for atmosphere when this country the right owners, the people who are supposed to lead it, we have so much time to prepare for tomorrow. If only you can give us the platforms na to impress young people kwa church. Si lazima vijana wale to chat say you you na speak to them you know in a language they understand we do understand involve young people in every leadership kwa media kwa church everywhere to, if really we, we are the leaders of tomorrow we ought to prepare now so ndugu sangu na kwa wale and also guys as a, as a young as a young artist here online on social media facebook instagram i've lived a certain lifestyle you know and it is what it is man and and i appreciate the people that uh, support me na hawa watu jalango ambao wamejaribu kutaka kuzungumzia hapa siku ya leo napenda niseme pia natafuta mbibi tafadhali hello kwa dhati kwa hivyo kama kuna mtu hapo ambaye maybe so size ni unatafuta bibi sasa nataka kuoa 12 so that kama the 12 tribes of israel Nona vile mnachitu I want I want to marry 12 wives. Yes, like the 12 tribes of Israel. So that every wow. woman can represent a tribe. Our winner <laughs> on YouTube <laughs> is Jane Kana Kananu. Jane Kananu, you've won yourself a beautiful bag bet hoodie. Slime Madex pia umejishindia hoodie yako fiti. Kumbuka leo ndani ya euro, euro ina bamba na bag bet, bro. I want to appreciate you so much. Thank you. 
Shoyako ikikam uh, whatever you are working on. Isande umesema tunaenda wapi? Isande to the captain's lounge. Wapo Ka- captain iko Sabaki. Sabaki mlolongo eh, kitoka ukipita cement hapo. Yes. Ni hapo. Siwache nipige debe. Okay basi. Piga debe, piga debe. This Sunday. Kwa sababu wasanii tunaumia sana. Ehe. Tumeamua atotalala. Kabisa. Tutakusanya mpaka hizo zetu za kucheka. This Sunday guys we having an amazing hangout. So decided just to Hakuna haja comedy ilale. Inaitwaje? Inaitwa Sunday Vibes and Laughter. Wapi hapo? At Captain's Lounge. Captain's Lounge iko wapi? Iko Petro City Sabaki. Hapo sasa ukitoka Kitengela Interchange. Interchange Peter Cement hapo. Nitakuwa hapo na MCA Tricky na Fredo Mondi na Jalango. Ajalipwa bado lakini akilipwa. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Asante sana. Nusipotee wewe. Bro sitapotea. Usibadilishe namba. Ni bro nimekusikia. Sawa. <laughs> this is Jalango TV. Win a Mazda Tripan cashback with the highest odds and standard chance to win a motorbike. Okay, cashback. Ride Boda Boda. 11th June to 11th July. Be a winner. Mazda bet. Imagine umetoka job, msi hataki udoze, anataka mkae naye, mpige story, unaona? like um hug una feel so, so nili find it very hard eh? na na need more attention unaona mm. so nilikuwa na find it very hard sana ndio pia nilikuwa msiksi kukumbuki nilikuwa nimeanza ku nose bleed mm-hmm. yani nilikuwa na gonjeka yani i used yani nilikuwa tu na complications zingine una puke but una feel ku puke but wezi puke mm. my name is ilam i'm june and this is our band Burn in the, the oven story, oven story.